In Psalms 25, verse 5, the Bible says, Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you, I wait all day long. Often we have to be taught by God. We have to be taught the way to go and why we're going that way and human mind questions. Well, God will teach and God will lead us in the way that will be our salvation. Because if we went in, in our own human mind thinking way, well, we might get into some big trouble. You've been in it, and so have I, by following our own mind. Knowing that there is divine timing in all matters, we become inspired. We know that God is taking care of us. Now, some days we're better at coping with challenges than on other days. Other times we may feel as if we're at the end of our patience and at the end of our strength. However, we follow the suggestion when you come to the end of your rope, tie a knot and hang on. There's humor in that statement, but also some truly sound advice. What we hang on to in a time of challenge or a time of crisis is God, our faith in God. And there is always a divine plan at work. So we don't give up hope. We don't give up fear. And we, uh, rather, we don't give in to fear. We, we often don't give up fear. That's the problem with us in human mind. We get so frozen in our fears. So we hold on to hope and we give up fear. In the next few days, I pray that solutions will appear in your life that you have not even considered in human mind. I pray that you're peaceful as you wait for the divine timing of the resolution to any solution. And I pray that you immerse yourself in God by immersing yourself in prayer knowing that God is bringing about a divine plan for your life.